All right, it is 2 p.m. with Timmy. What is going on? Tim Scout was here live in the sack. All right, high above my garage in Wilmington, North Carolina, coming to you for the uh, 2 p.m. with Timmy check-in. Listen, um, what did I have a couple things here for? All right, so I did, a, it's a new month, right? We're on to June and um, for all intents and purposes, everybody is back to selling um, cars in what is probably perceived as a normal environment, right? We're seeing auction prices are up, retail prices have hold, we're gonna talk about retail prices here in a minute, have held strong, um, all things considered. And um, we've got some crazy things going on, right? Guys need cars, guys don't need cars, um, incentives, things like that. So. Let's talk about your aged inventory. I did a quick analysis of um, the top groups that I work with. And I was a little, a little concerned about the age of the inventory. There are some groups that are carrying significant number of cars, a significant percentage of their inventory over 60 days. Now, hold on, time out, time out, okay? If you've only been open for a couple of weeks, right? If you just started selling cars in the middle of May, age probably isn't that much of a factor. But if you've been open much of April and all of May, your age inventory, you've got to take advantage of this time right now to sell your aged inventory. Retail, I say sell, you need to either retail out of it, make a decision right now. Here's what I mean. So let's, um, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna share my screen. All right, how does this work here? Share screen. Um, <laughs> there we go. Okay. And so I put this little presentation together, all right, to talk about um, watching your aged inventory. Okay. What do I mean? So 60 days ago today was April 5th. Okay. So if you had a car in stock that's 60 days old today, it didn't get written down last year month, but it's going to get written down this month. You bought it by at least April 5th. So what were you doing as a store at April 5th? If you were closed, you know, you probably don't have a lot of that inventory. Okay. So not a big deal. 70 days ago was March 26th. Okay. All right. What does that mean? What were you doing on March 26th? You know, very, very rarely did, is it possible you had a car? Yeah. There were guys definitely in certain states that you never shut down right? Way below in the deep South. I, I heard stories about everybody was open. So if you have a car at 70 days old, March 26th, what were you doing to get that car? How did you get as a trade or as a purchase? If that car is 80 days old, you took it in on March 16th. And if that car is, over, is 90 days old, you took it over on March 6th. Anything greater than 90 days, you took that car in pre-COVID, okay? So the good news, good news here, okay? All right now is the time to retail. Right, we are continuing to see a strong retail market. Man, that's good news. Okay, I'm I'm um stoked that we are continuing to see the strength in the retail market. Okay, now if you are interested in receiving the perfect storm report, you got to get a hold of me. I'm about to go through this report. Okay, you got to hit me up. There's my cell phone. Just call me. There's my email. All right, I will get you the perfect storm report. Here is the perfect storm analysis, right? So the perfect storm report is a market average price for um, March 1, uh, 2020. This is the national, the price of all cars across the country um, um, today. I'm sorry, we're gonna go on Friday. It was 31 grand, right? The change is three and a half percent. So like I said, that's great. I mean, overall three and a half percent drop considering what, what we've seen in the world. I think that's great news for everybody. If you are looking at one of these brands, Volvo, the, the Volvo, the, the, the V60, or a Golf, or a Smart for Two, okay, you, you probably took a whooping as far as a percentage goes, but um, that's not a lot of inventory, I think, um, as Joan. But what I did do here is, right, I did break down the segments. So these are all brands, 2019, 18s, and 17s. And you can see, right, um, across the country nationally, Right, Smart, Volvo, Tesla, Bentley, Genesis, Jaguar, these guys took a whooping, okay? 
And then the segment, the wagon, the hatchback, sedan, I've heard a lot of stories about minivans being pretty, pretty de depleted too. But I thought what would be good is if I drilled in a little bit more um, across the, the regions that I, I work mostly with, okay? So this is the Southeast, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, um, Florida, Alabama, uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, all right? You guys, we've only seen a 3.6% drop for the, for the entire market, all right? And if, that's good news. If you are looking at what, you know, the S90 or the Mirage or the, the S class, I mean, we've probably seen significant, you know, hits in that inventory, but it's pretty limited, right? So good news. If you've got aged inventory, you still have time to retail out of that inventory. You've got to take advantage while the market is still pretty strong, okay? By segment, I'm sorry, by brand and by segment here, okay, in the Southeast. Volvo getting crushed, and <laughs> Alpha, Land Rover, Tesla. Subaru is, is really surprising. I'm, I'm, I, I probably need to do some more research there. Uh, Maserati, Benz, Jaguar, Kia, right? All right, this is where you've seen your biggest hits as far as brands in the Southeast, okay? In the Midwest, we're talking Missouri, um, Iowa, Nebraska, Minnesota, um, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, okay, Wisconsin, right? Upper Midwest and Midwest covers a broad area. Average price is 28 grand. That's down 3.3% since March 1, okay? All 2019s, 18s, and 17s. It's surprising here, right? The Hyundai Elantra has taken a whooping. The Land Rover, the BMW 7 Series, the Eclipse, okay? These are all average retail prices from March 1. Okay, but in general, the market is still very strong. It's, this is, I keep saying it, it's really good news, All right? And then the brand, it looks like Volvo in general is, is taking a pretty good hit. Jaguar, Land Rover, Subaru, um, you know, kind of round, Genesis round up the top five or so here in the Midwest. Okay, remember, here's your aged inventory playbook, okay? Listen, if you're out there buying cars today um, to supplement your, you know, you saw some good deals. That's great. I, you needed to. We, we talked about that before, but you cannot let your salespeople go out there and just sell the fresh stuff. Okay. To, it's got to be used to offset. You've got to continue to sell out that aged inventory. You can't sell around the aged inventory. Salespeople are going to work the damn plate, their band play plan. All right. So if you got to do a spiff, whatever, I've been there. God, it's like, hey, we just took that car in. Why are you selling? Because there's gross in that car. That's why, all right? You've got to price that inventory to move, all right? Price it right or move on. Heck, I'm hearing stories how wholesale is strong. Take it to the auction. You might get lucky. I don't know, okay? Um, who knows? Inspect that unit, though, before you do anything. You got to get out there. Touch the car itself. Touch it, feel it, smell it. Make sure it's got air in the tires. The, it doesn't stink like a dog. Photos, go through your photos. Heck, maybe even take fresh photos. Who knows, all right? Um, online listings, you do a quick audit of all your website, the, uh, the third party sites. Who knows, it might've even fallen off. You gotta check for this stuff, okay? Maybe do a spotlight. Check your CRM history. Have you run any deals on this unit, all right? You've, I know Elite has the ability to go back and see if we penciled any, any deals. Um, have you had any calls? Have you had any leads? What are we doing? Talk to the people in the BDC or the sales guys about the vehicle. What's wrong with this car? If they tell you there's no gross, well, well, that's, you know, we can fix that, right? So here you go. There's your playbook. Um, I, I hope this, this information is helpful to you guys. I think we need to take advantage of um, the strong retail market. If you've got aged inventory and you've been open for much of the COVID, You've, you've got to get on it now and retail out of it now. I, I, I can't promise that these strong retail prices are going to continue. So I know this was a little bit longer than I normally go, but I, I really felt like I had to get this one going. Have a great day. Um, sell them all. You can always buy more. See ya.